the clips comments, bro. It's people from the it's Ghanaians, nigga, yeah. from Ghana, from here, yeah. from Canada, yeah, hey, nigga, man, like shit. being like, damn, yo, I love seeing you yeah. here, bro. I love seeing you Thanks. shed light on a on this country. You yeah. really embracing the culture, Indeed. nigga. What? Like you getting real genuine love. Yeah, love, bro. Real genuine love from from the this is the world, yeah, nigga. Yeah, it's the world. Yeah, bro. Nigga, and think yeah. about this is and this is some shit that you started, nigga. Bro, started, bro. Yeah. Shit, crazy, nigga. Hmm. Shit, yeah, crazy. Man. Every day I'll be like, man, I still can't believe like like people really consider me like like like, like an influence or content creator, but I still don't feel like that because I'm really just be sitting in a chair doing videos and, and you know like it's crazy, bro. Did, so did let me ask you something. When you were out there, did people yeah. recognize your face? Yeah, a few people did. Yeah. Really? I remember. I don't think I told Donovan. Uh, I went to like this, like this, this spot where I got these these masks and shit. Mm -hmm. And some person hit me up, do like, uh, do like Instagram, like yo, I think I seen it at this market. And I was like, yeah, that's dead. And some other nigga, I was swimming in the pool in the hotel. I I, I show my my my, my page. He was like, bro, I just watching your video. I was like, bro, that shit is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, shit, shit is dope, man. Shit is dope. Like, it's, I, still, I still can't, like, can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I started just doing YouTube shit, bro, it was just, like, I was literally just, like, doing it for fun. You know right. what I'm saying? Doing it for fun. But I, I wasn't getting really no love. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, when I kind of changed my, my course, changed my, my content to, like, more of, like, our people. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's when it really showed me love, you know? I was like, I, I got to keep running with this shit. Yeah, facts. I got to keep running with it. Yeah. Like we are now, nigga. And now, niggas, collab you, collaborate, you collaborate yeah, collaborate you collaborate with people out there. Yeah, people out there, man. It's crazy, man. So, let yeah. me ask you something. There was a girl, there was the, the, the I forgot what her, what her name was, but I seen she's, she's, she's definitely part of some media outlet in, yeah, in Ghana. Yeah, Miss Drew, right? Miss Drew, Miss Drew, so, yeah. Miss Drew? Miss Drew, yeah. So, what, what did y'all, what, what was y'all working on? Bro, I, I dropped the video today, actually. You did? Yeah, the video today. But we was basically just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, like she has a lot going on, bro. Like she's very busy. She makes. Like, she, 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 she from London. Here. She originally from London, yeah, but she she moved out here on on some like tired of London shit, like on some random like let me just travel the world and just go here. Wow. And she she said like she had no plan. She just came out here. So she's not Ghanaian. She is Ghanaian. Oh, she is Ghanaian. Yeah, she is Ghanaian, bro. Yeah. This idea of Africa. Yeah. That is ran down and shit and all that shit, but it, it's nothing like that at all. You not know what at I mean, all, bro. Bro, homie, like, I'm just looking at this shit. I'm like, wow, bro. I'm like, this is, it's so crazy how much they hide from you. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they don't want you to go out there, bro. Yeah, they, bro, they that. don't, bro. The only people that go out there are all those white Europeans. You know what I'm saying? And, like, them niggas don't, them niggas don't even, like, be, like, them niggas just stay in the hotel in their little area. Right. They don't even go out to, to the hood. Appreciate it, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was everywhere, bro. Yeah. I was everywhere. Was like I seen it. Yeah, bro. I was talking to the locals. I was everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, why would I be out there if I don't want to feel, understand, like, what they live in or how, how they, you know what I'm saying? Right. How they make their living and shit like that, you know? Facts. Like, they hustle, bro. Like, they they buy shit in bulk from the supermarket and sell it in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's to make, that's to make a little extra cash, you know? Yeah, yeah. Shit is crazy, like. You see my video, bro. I was really nah, talking. I, I was like, bro, yeah, you know, like that shit really, it really opened my so eyes, everybody, bro. So everybody, uh, everybody over there understand English. Most of them, yeah. Most of them speak English. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bro. Must be English, or if you don't, have break, broken English. And then, but they, I, I remember they used they had you. They was teaching you some like like they have their own. They have like, is it like is it is God is it like a a language for them or is it just like they uh they have like a what is it like you know how like we have Creole. Yeah. Is it like that for them? Yeah, so they have this they have the language called it's called um I think it's called like tree. Something like that. Like, I forgot how to pronounce it. Okay. Yeah, but it's basically like their Ghanaian language, stuff like that. Yeah. So but um it was teaching me words like um I learned like the word boss. It's, it's like bossu. 
Bossu. Yeah, like like Bossu. Like Bossu. Yeah, you boss, yeah. Okay. Bossu. There's um there's uh Aquaba means welcome. Aquaba? Yeah, Aquaba. Yeah, Aquaba means welcome. Um, what else is there? What's that shit that the young nigga was trying to teach you and you and you was, I, I think I saw it in the story and he was trying to pronounce the word. And then, and then and then he had you repeat it, but you didn't know how what it meant. Like what was that shit? Oh, I know what you talking about the, the black, the, the yeah. black yeah. dude. Um, what's the word again? Uh, Charlie. 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 Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. That's yeah. like that shit sounds fine. Yeah. What does that mean again? Charlie. Charlie is like Charlie is like it can mean anything. Like like it's basically like it's basically like a word that you say, but it means anything. You just add it to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like 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 what's the word that we always say? Like like facts or words. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It mean it can mean anything. You know, shit like that. But it's to make something sound more what? Um, like it's basically like a, it's basically like a, it's more like a, well, so some people would say different, but some people could be like, like, you understand me? Yeah, you, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel okay, me? Okay. Yeah, 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 like, you yeah, understand? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I was chilling my name, man, Charlie. Like, right. yeah, you feel me? Like, I was chilling my man. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. you just add it to it, you know? Yeah. Shit like that. So, so it's pretty dope, man. It's like how in Creole they say boss. Yeah, you yeah, know? Boss. So it is dope, man. The women out there are beautiful, man. Like, man, it's crazy. But if they're light skin, light skin. So in Ghana, right? Yeah. So like you know how you can have somebody live in a country, but there's other people who come from other countries. So like there's like a mix of like, um, if I'm saying it right, like a mix between Ghana and like a different like country. Like, do they have like people like that? Because yeah, a lot of them. Cause not everybody's gonna be just black from Ghana. Nah, a right? lot, so, lot of them that I seen were from like they like they Ghanaians, but they're from London. Uh, they Ghanaians from Australia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Ghanaians from like from like Jamaica, like you know what I'm right. saying? Shit yeah. like that. So just, but they, they all they all take up that accent from where they at. Right, right. But they right. all Ghanaians. You know what I'm saying? Fire. Yeah, it's fire, man. It's fire. It's really yeah, dope, I man. Definitely want to do something. I definitely want to go out there, man. Bro, I'm going to back in December with Sally, December. bro. Yeah, it's just gonna be fun, bro. Like that's the like that's the first time when I traveled, bro. Like, I felt like I was really on vacation. Wow. You know, like that's the first time like I felt like I was really like on vacation. So bro. like, so you say, all right, the other trips you feel like you was just on trips, just experiencing. Yeah, shit. experiencing. This was a real vacation. Yeah, this was you big... were, like pampered. And yeah, you felt like bro. You was taken care of. Yeah, bro. Like, from every aspect, it was like really like. Like a, a really a vacation, bro. You know, nigga, I'm flying out there with you. Yeah, with bro. bro. I don't, yo. Yeah, bro. That shit, like, shit is crazy, man. That shit was dope. So altogether, how much you think your trip cost you? Altogether. Yeah. Um. The visa was probably like two hundred. I bought about five hundred. Probably spent a thousand. Um. The flight was a band. Um, yeah, it's probably like maybe like three racks. Three racks. Yeah, like three racks. Oh, that's yeah, still too bad. but that's if you want to spend that much. That's like, still, that's but still, me, like, I, I had a list that I wanted to do, so I did yeah. all those shits. They had to pay for like, some time for Ubers, for taxis, whatever yeah, it is, right. you know. So it's like if you want to have a good time, you gotta spend a little money. I mean, that's of course, that's, yeah. that's a fact. That's whatever it is. Especially yeah, yeah. going out there for like a twelve-hour flight, you better have fun. You know what I'm saying? You know how there is to be stingy. Yeah, two days. weeks. Two weeks. Better stay that fun, nigga. Yeah, this nigga had it. This nigga yeah. up, man. I was like, I was really just at work every day, just like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was really enjoying yeah, myself, boy. bro. I would have those moments like that, too, where I'm at work. I'm like, let me hit up this nigga Breezy. Make sure, like, he's good. Like, what are you doing, bro? Mm. But then I realized that nigga sleep. Yeah. Like, sleep, bro. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, sleep, bro. Like, sleep, nigga, bro, I'm at, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm at work watching the videos. I be dropping videos. I be like, "Oh shit, it's mad early over there." I'm like, "Damn, shit is crazy." Like but dawn, nigga. like a dog, man. But man, Ghanaians like they're really, really nice people. And I think about over there, like they think that it's dangerous, bro. They like, like dangerous? no, I said like, like, like Americans oh, think yeah, that. I, oh yeah, it's dangerous, it's dangerous what bro. What do they think of us? It's funny because I actually did a video on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that. I did a video on like I was talking to a few Ghanaians. And um, I should drop that soon too. Think out here, like, we probably think we out here bugging. Yeah. Bro, like they know, like they be watching us. They, they, they see how, like, cause I remember, I forgot who brought it up, but they were like, they were like, bro, like, is, is, like niggas really dying out in New York. I'm like, yeah, bro, niggas getting killed out there in New York. Yeah, like yeah. they are watching oh, out there, bro. There's barely no crime, bro, at all. Wow. Like all of them just try to get their business, get their money, and just leave and go home. Wow. 
You know what I'm saying? And they look at us like we fuck some ghetto ass Negroes, bro. Bro, it's crazy. We supposed to be the most developed ones. Bro, it's crazy. Bro, bro, you know what opened up my eyes, bro? It's like when them niggas work, they work, bro. Yeah. Like I went to a car wash with my man, and like them niggas dead ass like hand wash your car, right? Hand wash your car, and then they'll grab buckets to clean the car, like. Bro, like to wet the car, like the oh, like to sit, take off the soap. You clean the tires. You grab grab like a bucket, and, like wet the tires up with the hands, yeah. clean it. I'm like, bro, this I'm shit. In there, bro, bro, they really this really labor. They really working, bro. You know us, we were driving to a car wash. The shit wash the machine. Wash. Yeah. yeah, I was like, bro, these niggas really working, bro. Kids thirteen like to fifteen is working. I was like, yo. You gotta respect the hustle. The hustle, bro. That's why I was, like, I respect fuck with the you hustle. You came out there, your first thing you do is just give, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get the bread, man. Like, yeah. Gangster, bro. Shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy. Cause like some of them, some of those people don't have don't have electricity in their cribs. Mm. Some some niggas don't have water in their cribs, so they'll go to the lake and grab water. And you see kids with the buckets in their head, like just walking big ass buckets carrying their head, bro. Like I was like, damn, son. Yeah. And you think that like think about my situation, I was like, damn, bro, like I would I would never picture myself a little kid carrying a big bucket head, and they'll come back just to get some more. I was like, yo, shit is crazy, bro. Shit is it's crazy. Very humbling experience. A very humbling yeah, experience, think, you know, bro. It's a shit it's the shit that you go through in life, right? And you be thinking yeah. to yourself like, damn man, like this shit is this this shit is ass. Like yeah. and then you you go out there and you see somebody going through something that's worse, and they live in like it's regular. Yeah, like it's regular, like, bro. Get the fuck out of here! I got shit to do. Yeah, bro. But I remember experiencing it when I was a kid. But it hits different when I was a kid. I feel like I need to see it again. I remember. Yeah, no, yeah. Sure, bro. Right, I remember it like pouring rain, and you know what they did? They would catch the rain. They would catch the rain, and they put it in like a filter, mm-hmm. and like some type of filter, yeah. and that's how they would drink their water. Yeah. They would boil it if you want to, and that's how they would drink their water yep. every day. Yeah, and they would man. save it because it wouldn't rain for a couple more days. Like if you think about that, like it wouldn't bro, rain that's for crazy. a couple more days. Yeah. So that's how they. That's the all the water you have bro. You come from the rain. Yep. Shit, nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go to no store. Nothing. Yo, nah. crazy, bro. Shit. You don't yeah, realize how good you have it sometimes. That's just really, really humbling, dope, bro. Nigga. We go to the that store right humbling. now, buy a goddamn Poland Spring bottle. Yeah, bro. Most people don't even drink the whole shit. They throw yeah, it out. Throw... Nigga. Yeah, bro. That it's shit. It's different, bro. When you really see it. Yeah, bro. Uh-huh. That shit really humbling, bro. Wow. Yeah. I was like, wow, bro. It's crazy. And, like, their spirit would be so high, too. Like, I'd be like, damn, bro. It's like, it's like. I remember, like, when I was going through my shit, like, I even I had guys still a good, good spirit. Yeah. But it's nothing compared to what them niggas going through. Right. I was like, damn, imagine if they had, like, a quarter of what we have. <sighs> Boy, them niggas think they living, really living. Oh, you feel shit. me? I was like, I'm trying to go back home. I was like, I can't, can't bullshit about nothing. I can't yeah, like, complain about can't shit. Complain. Yeah, and about nothing, bro, because shit is crazy. Yeah, nigga. That shit, shit do something to you. Yeah, bro. it really do something I'm to sure you. I'm sure it's be doing something to you, nigga. Yeah, bro. Shit is crazy, man. Shit is fucking crazy. That's wild, man. Like, you yeah. know, appreciate everything. And, like, you know, some things are, you're lucky right. to be born in, like, a situation like that. You know what I mean? Like, you you, you have this. And still, we have our own, like, shit. Right. Like, we have our own struggles. But sometimes, if you really have to compare it to what's there. It's not the same. It's not the yeah, same, bro. Not the same, bro. Definitely not the same. Not the same, so. For That's real. nice, though. They had clubs. They bro, their clubs are too. elite. Bro, elite, bro. I'm telling you, the clubs, all of them are fire, bro. Play the right music. Bro, they always had the right music, bro. The Dieter's lit, bro. Show girls dancing? Hell yeah, bro. Of course. Bro, the last spot I went to, it was crazy stupid, bro. I don't know if you see my story. It had like umbrellas like in the top. I seen that, bro, yeah. Bro, that shit, that spot was crazy, bro. Wild, 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 son. I saw I once had a big ass pool in the middle, like a night. It was, it was crazy, bro. Like, I can't even explain how crazy it was. You just gotta see it for yourself, bro. Go, man. Gotta see it for yourself, man. But Ghana, Ghana was a great experience, man. Probably the best experience I ever had going anywhere, bro. Yeah. Anywhere in the world, best experience, man. Because it's like everything you need is there, bro. Right. The culture, the food, right. the music, the clubs, the women, the women. It's like you, it's like where, where can you find that, bro? All that one area, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you could travel to Europe, you could travel, you know what I'm saying? Like, you won't have all those together in one, bro. Shit is crazy. Let me ask you something. That shit really got you feeling like you want to move out there. 
Yeah, I was telling them. I was, I was looking at apartments, too. Hey, Yeah, no I was looking at, like, land and apartments and shit like that out there. Yeah, man, because I definitely want to do some business out there. I, I, I got a project that I'm trying to do. That shit, see. the shit that I'm starting to. I designed these. Let me see. Those? Yeah, that's the one that I wore on my, my story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm designing, so I have some other shit cooking up, too. Other designs, shit like that. So yeah. I'm probably going to, I want to do business out there, too. So I want to start, like, um, like designing these and, and put it, like, I feel like the clothing that I'm doing now, like these, like, yeah. they're not really catered to the, my community right. on YouTube. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And a lot of them, all, they always be buying new shit, like new, like, like at least, even though no guy names, but they have, like, at least, like, 30 or 20 of these, word, like, in their closet. They, they gon' yeah. they, they see the fly breezy shit, yeah. they gon' be like, oh, yeah, let's Yeah, I got my cop that. this, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's in the works, man. Shit like that. Oh, yeah, But, bro. um, yeah, man. Hopefully, hopefully that just blew up, you know. Shit, nigga. Shit like yeah. that, but, um, yeah, man. Bro. Shit is crazy, man. It was a great experience, that's bro. Dope, man. I really encourage all like black Americans who are scared to go out there. Bro, I feel like, bro, when I went out there and I was showing my videos, my stories, so many people hit me up like, bro, you really showing the light. Bro. Bro, it's you crazy. Wanna, and what's so dope about it, yo, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, nigga, I was really like, I was bigging you up crazy when you was going because yeah. it's like, nigga, the love you was getting bro. from the people, bro. Yeah. Like, you really, I don't, you, like, nigga. Fuck rap. Fuck all that shit, bro. <laughs> because a lot of niggas got fake bullshit fans. Yeah. And they niggas and everybody in the, yeah. in the comments and shit.